In this video, we're going to go over an introduction to the MATLAB environment. We're going to discuss the different relevant windows or parts of the environment and how to use them. All right, so when you open up your MATLAB environment, you'll have something that looks similar to this. So now let's go over the different parts. So this top portion here is a ribbon of very useful um, operations, such as opening a file or creating a new file. For the purposes of this class, you'll probably just be using this home tab here. And even more specifically, you'll probably just be using the new script and the open button. All the other stuff um, has very powerful applications, but for the purpose of this class, you probably won't be using it. And so moving on, so this section right here, this is telling you your current path that you're in. Your path is just the location in your computer of where you are and what files you have access to. So moving on from that, given your current path, you have your current folder. So this left panel over here is your current folder, your current directory. This is the current folder that you are in in your computer, and it shows all the relevant files in that folder. It's very important that anytime you want to use any files that you created, you have to be in that current directory or in that current folder. This middle section here right now is called the command window. The command window is useful for running functions, which we'll talk about later, and also creating variables, which we'll talk about later as well, and also just running quick um, operations. So for instance, let's say, let's say I wanted to use MATLAB as a calculator, and I wanted to say, oh, what's three plus four? All I have to do is type it in there, and I get an answer. And so notice when I type things into my command window, um, it saves things inside of this right-hand side, which is known as your workspace. Your workspace is a collection of all of your current variables and values. We'll talk about variables and values later. And so the last piece is the editor. So right now our window doesn't have an editor because we haven't started creating a function or a script. So what I can do is when I go over here and click the new script, then my editor window pops up here. You can think of this kind of as like a um, notepad document here. So inside of here, this is when you can, you can type multiple lines of code. For now, we'll just do stuff like that. You can type multiple lines of code, and then you can go ahead and save this file, and it'll show up in your current directory or whatever directory you save it in. So therefore, later on, you can go back and run that file or use that file that you created. And lastly, um, and so notice actually, so notice when we open up our editor, we have this new tab here, this editor tab. This editor tab has a lot of important things as well. It has ways that you can insert comments, which are just ways of um, dictating or describing what your code is doing to other humans. You can use the debugger here, which we'll talk about later. And you can use the run bump button to run, fun or run scripts. And lastly, so a lot of the times people like to customize, or not lastly, second to last, um, a lot of the times people like to customize their screens for their own um, for their own coding style. So a lot of the times people don't like this congestion in their screen. They like their editor to be a separate entity. And so you can do that by clicking this down arrow here and clicking undock. So what this does is it opens up your editor in a completely different window. So therefore, you could have a side-by-side -side window like that if that's something that you want. And if you wanted to put the editor back, all you have to do is click that button again and click Dock. All right, so now lastly, um, let's say you can drag these windows around, like I said, to customize anything you want. And so what will probably happen is you'll get to a point where you have stuff all out of whack and you don't really like it and you wanna put it back to the default way that it was. And so you can do this easily by going to the Home tab, clicking Layout, and then clicking Default. And that just rearranges all of your windows to their default configuration. And that's it.